Good evening Hackology. In the last video I promised you a walkthrough on the code so I'm just going to uh, give you a really quick walkthrough on the code and explain what's going on and um, I'm sure you'll be able to see because it's pretty obvious. So the first bit of code here we set the integer clock A equal to pin 13 so we're going to we're going to assign clock A is on pin 13. Uh, we're going to set up a variable for the data pin which is going to be on pin number 11 we're going to set up a reset pin which is going to be on pin 12 so all the pins on this Arduino pins 11, 12 and 13 are your clock data and reset then here in the declarations at the top of the uh, code we've got a data array which stores our data that we like to send to the bit registers so you can change this and modify this for your own purposes. You'll need to change the 64 to how many lines there are in the array and you'll need to change the 16 to how many bits you have um, on your bit registers. So I have also included some old code here with a 16 line 8 bit array so that's if you're just working with the 1 bit register. But the the 16-bit stuff works fine. Um, you just don't see the you don't see the first eight bits, so you'll only ever see the second half of the line because they get passed in and passed out to the end. So you you would never see them. So the setup function we initialize the pins. We say we're going to be using data A for output, clock A for output, and reset for output. That means that we're going to be writing values to these so we're able to switch them on and off. And we set the uh, initial values for clock A to low, data A to low, and reset A to low, so that means they're turned off. Um, you could reset the communication here with the bit registers just to ensure that they're cleared out before we run any code or try and pass them any data so they're synced. I found I didn't need to do this but I've, I've put that code in there for you just in case. Then we pause for one second before we start the main loop routine. So then it comes down here and it runs void loop. Let's just check that that's on the screen. I really hope everything else has been on the screen. So it runs void loop and basically goes through the array line for line. So it goes through uh, the 64 lines in the array and then for each line it jumps down here and it goes through each character in the array or each bit in the array and then set bit is just a simple function uh, here which is used to set the um, data pin high or low depending on the value in, stored in the array um, so once it's passed the data into the um, reg uh, into the data pin we call tick so tick ticks the clock at high and low and what this actually does is it moves the bit into the first segment or the first uh, digit of the bit register then what we do is we come down here and it goes through the next line I'm uh, sorry the, the next character it goes through the next character and writes that to here so it sets the bit high or low ticks the clock and then moves on to the next character until it's completed a line and then it stops for 125th of a second so basically what that does is that will display the data for a very short period of time and then it will move on to the next line in the array and the reason we have the delays here for one microsecond is just to make sure that the um, clock on the Arduino keeps up with what we're doing um, with the bit registers so I'm sure there's some calculations I could do to figure out the clock speed of the bit register and what the Arduino is and find out the optimum amount of microseconds but I found switching it to one works fine. 
and that is basically the code for the bit register. I shall upload this to Pastebin and I'll set the expiry to never so hopefully it never gets uh, deleted from the internet. There we go. Just a small bit of theory for you, just so you know how the bit registers process the data that's been passed to it. So the initial values are written to 000, zero, zero. And then if we look at the second table, you can see the values for the clock data and reset pin. And each phase necessary to write the value 1010 to the bit register. That's how bit registers work. I hope you've enjoyed the code. I hope you've enjoyed the videos. Have fun hacking as always, and we'll be back really soon. Peace.